I watch Hello Okanagan from Kelowna. Hey everyone, when it's early in the morning here in Penticton, as, I, as far as I'm concerned, there's only one place to go. Wayne and Frida. Hey everyone, one of my favorite places when I wake up in the morning in Penticton to get my coffee on is here at Wayne and Frida and we're here with the owner, Ryan. Ryan, thanks for allowing us to come down and uh, you know chat with you for a little bit and I can't wait to get into the coffee. I see you've already have there. Yeah, <laughs> mandatory. Thanks, Peter. Yeah. Awesome. So give us a little bit of the uh, origin story here. When did this all open up? When did you come up with the idea? How did you come up with the name? Yeah, my wife and I moved up here in 2017. We spent 15 years in the city. Uh, obviously, both being self-employed, spent a lot of time in and out of cafes, opening your laptop, closing your laptop, running yeah. in between meetings here and there, having coffee, light lunches, that sort of thing. Yeah. This um, kind of was born out of, out of that. We, we moved here and um, we're at a bit of a loss. We found that, that Penticton in particular, we both live in Summerland, but Penticton in particular, um, where we spent a lot of our time, was lacking. Um, you know, a, a real sort of large community hub for people yeah. to, to hang out in. Yeah. Um, the, the, the name of the cafe came from uh, our grandparents, which were, um, oh. yeah, my grandfather's Wayne and, and Jen's uh, uh, grandmother's Frida. Um, uh. When we started dating almost 20 years ago, um, we found out they were in the same care home about a year after we were dating. Um, so the, the, the care aides at the care home were informed of that, and so they kind of readjusted the seating arrangement at the dinner table, breakfast table. So it was always about table. Wayne and Frida. That's Wayne right. Wayne and Frida. That's Wayne right. and Frida this, right. Wayne and Frida that. Yeah. That's awesome. I love so that. So they ended up sharing meals and coffee and everything for, for the last few years of their lives while well, they were in there, and then, you know, had something common to share and, and, and talk about. And yeah. yeah. Awesome. So now you've got the name and everyone shares a drink and a meal with them as well. Yeah, I mean, we're, um, absolutely, and it, it's, it's kind of, you know, it, it's subconsciously sort of bled through, we feel. A lot of people come here, um, and it's not, it, despite being a place to open your laptop and maybe get some work done on the go or something like that, the majority of our customers here, the phones are down, and, and they're, you know, if they're with somebody else, they're chatting with them, you know, like it's 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 a real hub for, for people to come and enjoy each other, um, whether you're 16, 17 years old or 86, 87 years old, you know what I mean? Well, I have a friend who's a, uh, he's a big, coffee connoisseur and we came out last summer we came out probably at least half a dozen times to go to Oliver for the for the go-karting track there and everything but we always stopped in Penticton here he insists that he always loved to stop here so uh, we've been here I myself was here tons of times last summer and a couple times already this summer so awesome that's yeah, great to I hear love the, I love the vibe the ambiance and one thing that I do notice is it's, it's always busy no matter what time you're here which is really good to see yeah I mean the summer in Penticton is obviously we, we get lots of people up here um, but we have a, a, a steady core regular clientele that, that um, supports us all through the year um, in the winter um, our, our seating is is um, at a premium and it's just because we don't have a lot of it when the weather gets cold inside the majority of our seating is outside so um, yeah it, it feels really good um, to, to, you know to have that sort of that that full um, yeah, that full ambiance through, throughout the season. Um, well, with that being said, and I'm starting to feel a little chill here, I think it's time for me to get a coffee. So <laughs> let's go inside and uh, maybe we can film some of your baristas making some of these specialties. Absolutely. Awesome. Let's go, guys.
thanks for the cup. You're <laughs> it's welcome. definitely helped. Um, so a little bit about the food portion of your spot. Yeah. What exactly do you guys offer so people know when they come here? Yeah, we're, uh, I mean, I like to tell people we're kind of like, despite it saying coffee on the outside of the building, which is kind of where it started, we're essentially a, a, a full service restaurant. Um, you just order the counter as opposed to, you know, being served by a, a waiter or waitress. You'll still have your food brought out to you if you're dining in. But um, yeah, we've, we've got a full kitchen back there. What we're super proud of is that we, we turn over lots of food and, and everything is done fresh in-house. We don't have deep fryers, anything like that. So um, we do have a really cool oven that we use for a lot of our heavy lifting. The breakfast, lunch, and, and afternoon program is, um, is you know, food quality that you'd find at any restaurant. Um, in our bake case, more of the cafe style items. Um, we start early in the morning every morning and those are baked fresh in-house every single day. So like um, Canadian Tire that's more than tires, you're more than just coffee. Correct. You got that's it. That's awesome. I like that. <laughs> so with the coffee itself now, do you roast your own coffee? Do you get it shipped in from somewhere? Tell us the process with that. Yeah, about a year ago we, we started roasting our own coffee, uh, built in, a coffee. In-house here? In-house, yeah. Oh. We, we Well, not actually in, in this particular space, but we, uh, we got another space around the corner just across the parking lot, built a coffee roastery. Um, and funny enough, we are actually, um, there's been an opportunity sort of behind us where we're going to um, move that coffee roastery and, and uh, connect it to the space. Um, that wasn't available to us at the time, but um, it is now. And it's been a really cool, exciting process. We worked with our master roaster that had roasted coffee for us um, up until that point. Yeah. And so over the last year, we've, we haven't tried to reinvent the wheel. We've, we've basically continued on with the same greens and he's worked with us through this process in, in um, transitioning over to our own, roast, which is super cool. So being that everything's in-house, Besides giving it to your customers in a cup, can they take it home? Is there, do you sell them in bags or anything like that? Yeah, absolutely. We, we, you can buy it in house. Yeah, a lot of people email us. Um, you know, the tourists that come up and, and fall in love with their coffee and they want it back in Vancouver or something like that, um, or in, in Calgary. We we do a lot of just you know direct emails and then ship that coffee to them. And on the uh, on the food side, one thing I'll notice from you know when I bring my friends and uh, and girlfriend in here is. Uh, that a lot of your food is, is plant forward. So I wouldn't say like necessarily all 100% vegan or plant-based, but you definitely do make the vegetable the star and you use a lot of veggies, which I can really appreciate because it really adds a lot of flavor and, and quality to the food. And while the coffee is what you guys are probably known for, I think, uh, I think it'd be a shame not to mention the the quality that comes out of your kitchen as well. Yeah, I mean we have a we have a full kitchen. We're super proud of the food program we have. Um, the the model that our, our food program is based around is that it's a cafe still, and people come and drink coffee every day, um, at least five days a week for the most part. A lot of our regular customers. The food program is designed around that you can eat the food every day, and you're not gonna leave with this lump in your chest or whatever. So that may be why um, you're finding it plant forward or there's always add-ons and options, but a lot of it is um, healthy, fresh. Yep. Um, we don't use fried foods in any way or anything like that, um, but we still do have those savory dishes like our overnight short rib sandwich, uh, which we do, which is, it's gonna give you that that maybe that Saturday that brunch feeling that you yeah. want. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Do you guys have delivery service here? Like we'll skip the dishes or anything like that? No, we don't. Okay. So once again, you want people here. They, you want to feel the atmosphere. The, 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 the business is based to be, or like the, the, the business, the shop, everything is based around community. We want people here off the phones, talking to each other, yeah. having a good time, taking a moment to have a little bit of joy in their day and carrying on. Um, Jen and I have always loved Europe whenever we travel there. I mean, try and get a takeout coffee in Italy. Yeah, totally. They skull, it, it's not something that, um, it, it's part of our existence to have takeout coffee. I use yeah. takeout coffee all the time. But um, we really like people to take a moment. Cool. 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 45, chill. So yeah. tell us about your neighborhood. I mean, we've got some fine breweries around us. We've got an Italian restaurant across the street. You're right by the movie theater. I mean, you're in a really cool spot here. Yeah, really, really great area in the last couple of years. I mean, Bad Tattoo was kind of the front runner um, down here. Um, fantastic pizza, great beer. They've been, they've been here, and us and neighborhood went in at, at similar times. Their build took a little bit longer than ours, given uh, it's a fairly nice building. Um, um, Mike and Linda over there make some of the best beer and, and Mexican food you can you can have in town. And then um, Chris over Trotto is it's it's. I don't know if you've had the pizza or not. Yeah, but just yeah. there last night. Yeah, no, no, absolutely <laughs> phenomenal. Yeah, um, he uh, 
he's, uh, I think he, he cut his teeth in the city and, and has uh, been doing fantastic, very um, simple, great things for, for years. And if you guys at home don't know, especially for all the tourists, the spot that we're talking about, especially Wayne and Frida, it's literally like a block off the water. Like when you're at the beach and you need something to wake you up in the middle of the day or you need a great sandwich or whatever, this is the spot to be. One last thing I wanted to ask you now is through the winter, um, obviously there's no outdoor seating or anything like that. So what do you guys do inside? Is there any entertainment? Do you have like a musician that ever comes in or anything like that? Any special events that you normally do? Yeah, absolutely. Occasional things. Um, we, we may, uh, now that hopefully COVID's behind us, we may get back into doing our childhood reasoning event in, um, in the harvest time, which is great because um, we lose a bit of our tourism, um, but it's really nice to kind of honor a lot of the, uh, the winemakers and um, uh, the people involved in that industry. Um, it was a super popular event whenever we've done it. Um, what and does that's, that entail? It, it entailed, we did, um, we make a, a, a sort of a chowder throughout the day here, um, um, fresh, awesome fish, and then bring in um, musicians and kind of do a, a bit of an outdoor, indoor, but everyone's coming in super comfy, yeah. you know, um, warm stuff to be able to, to accommodate that indoor, outdoor, uh, atmosphere and just have a fantastic night of, of chowder and Riesling was something my wife and I did back in Vancouver with our friends. We used to start like in uh, your own home you mean? Yeah we used to there was a group of us that worked in, in um, throughout a few different restaurants and we used to start at like say nine in the morning we'd walk down to Granville Island and we'd, we'd grab a coffee and we'd start purchasing our ingredients for the day and then we'd go back and start cooking soup and playing games and um, it's just something we kind of uh, wanted to carry on cool. as we came up here. Thank you so much for your time today, and uh, if people want more information or to stop by for themselves, how do they get that? Yeah, I mean, probably the, the, the best avenue is to is to visit our website, uh, wayneandfrieda.com, or send us an email at hello and wayneandfrieda.com. Amazing. Thank yeah. you so much. Cheers. And, uh, yeah, cheers. <laughs> Thank you so much. And all I got to say is after a cup of this, it's definitely a good morning. <laughs> Hey everyone, thanks for watching our show. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Click that little bell and it'll remind you when we have new episodes. And David, where else can they follow us? Follow us on social media, guys. Hello Okanagan on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok.